Is it amazing what we can do with technology? Honestly, I hate it. Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. I'm Macho. And thank you for joining us. I hope you're doing all right. Macho, it looks like there's a little bit of more sunshine coming down our way. And Yeah. Uh, what is this garbage? <laughs> Why am I here in the daylight now? I know. Uh... It seems like uh, I, I might have disturbed you from your slumber, so uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I am vampire. <laughs> I can't be in the sun. Well, it seems like we've uh, adjusted our, our kind of meeting time today because, um, well, it just kind of worked out better for, really for me, but um, it seems that some of us actually get to celebrate a little extra uh, holiday than some others. So, yeah, um, thanks, Cesar Chavez. Yes, the man who really championed workers' rights, and what better way to celebrate it than by not working? Not working, <laughs> yeah, it's so, great. So here we I'm are. I so, that. Thank you. By the way, is he still alive? I don't really know. I him. don't it's, a, it's amazing how much we actually just don't know certain things. We just go with it, um, and we just... Oh, wow. Uh, Died in 1993, age 66. Wow. So kind of young, actually. We were, but... We lads, so, yeah, honestly. But uh, I mean, civil. What is it? Civil um, labor rights. Uh, civil rights is very important, um, and notably True. for you know the farm workers. You know those in agriculture and those who uh, that eventually you know come down to us with uh, with produce and things of consumption. So mm -hmm. even more so, thank you, Mr. Chavez, for uh, <laughs> for helping move that along. Um. My child, how are you doing today? Uh, literally today. I am fine, honestly. It's Cesar Chavez. Uh, Friday was my RDO, so mm -hmm. four-day weekend for me. Oh, Great. long weekend. Excellent. Yeah. Always good to hear. Yeah. Um, also, I got donuts today because somebody came over over the weekend, and they brought, uh, oh, is it Moon something moon? donuts? Oh, uh, the Long Beach? In, in your area. Yeah. Oh, Moon Long Bridge. Beach. Wow. The bridge, yeah. We were just talking. Yeah. I mean, we just uh, actually we did. Yeah, it's very convenient. Actually, by the time this drops, yes, we will have talked about that already. Yes, how yeah. very cool. So very convenient. Also, quick follow up. Apparently, um, so Ruan Pa, right, and Kam Nam Wan. Yes. Uh, I I still haven't been, but mm -hmm. as it turns out, those two are owned by um someone from Marshall that was in my year. What do you mean? Or I guess his parents. The the restaurant, you know, yeah, the, the restaurant and the and the the gelato yeah, thing they're trying to right. do. If you remember really? Champ, he was in my ear. Yes, I I mean I remember the nickname. It's kind of coming back. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, that's his his family's restaurant. I didn't I didn't realize. No kidding. So is he involved in that in any way, or what's I'm his deal? Pretty sure he's the one who who's trying to do the who tried to start the gelato thing. Oh Because. Wow. I think I saw a reel and he was the one narrating it. That's awesome. Um, about well, that before it opened. Well, shoot. Uh, champ, you out there? I'd love to love to catch up with you and chat with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and sure. He's the hear this for sure. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people, he's got a... <laughs> he's really looking out for He's that. actually one of our few and only fans. That's correct. So, oh, that that's very cool. I had no idea. Um so even more so, even more of a reason to motivate to support, you know, these Going local. By, uh, yeah. yeah. So, all right. Well, my child, again, you haven't been out there. So I think uh, we'll we'll schedule something pretty soon. Yeah. I was actually supposed to go on Thursday, but something, it, it fell apart, unfortunately. Yeah, because you weren't with me. So uh, we got to go now. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> got it. But how did you find out um, about, uh, you know, that whole thing? I mean, I knew his family owned or ran a, um, a Thai restaurant like years, for years now. Yeah. Uh, I just never asked which one it was, honestly. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. And then we were supposed to meet up on Thursday with him at, mm -hmm. at Camden One, actually. Oh, okay. Because a friend, another friend was in town from mm -hmm. Seattle. Mm -hmm. So we were all going to meet up there, uh, but it ended up not. I see. I see. I feel like this is like breaking news, you know, as far as this <laughs> program goes. This is like late breaking. The best we'll get. Yeah, yeah I think so. This is... <laughs> 
this is the juicy stuff that I like to hear, you know? That's great. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt you from your morning, morning snack, but... No, no, this is good. This is important. Um, but you heard it here, folks, so... Um, We'll uh, we'll follow up again and see if we do get that meal at Ruin Pear and uh, Canamuan and um, get the champ in there too. I don't know, um, but tell me, my show about what what uh, they brought you for donuts today. Honestly, I don't know. She brought a dozen variety donuts. <laughs> I've just been eating it over time. Uh, I know one of them was the Vietnamese coffee, which I actually really liked. Good, um, but. The real problem is they're all yeast donuts, and I am mm. a cake donut guy. Yeah, yeah we've we definitely established that. That's okay. Um, there is, I mean, uh, I remember at least one. You know, we did showcase one of them. It was a raspberry uh, donut with the, yeah, yeah, the lemon. I don't remember now. I'm Ras- not sure. You know, uh, but but, she also brought one of those. Oh, but you didn't have it. Wait, so this was like a Lolita party, tea party, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So. I fucking took slices of donuts, tiny slices of donuts, and oh. I hate it. Not even halves. It's like just like slivers. little verse, maybe like eighths or sixteenths or Less something. Even yeah. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point uh, of a donut? Oh man! At that point, it should be like uh, I don't know, a little tartlet or something, something prepared. Yeah, like a donut hole kind of. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, Moonbridge, if you're listening to this, get on that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sure there is even more likely. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, good. I mean, that's um, that's a pretty good way to start the day. Um, but how many um, how many more you got to to go through? You got this is my two? last two. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I've been going through it. Very sad. Well, thankfully, you know, donuts are in no short supply. You know, around there. Uh, but glad you got to try something from way. I mean, I was kind of surprised to be honest uh, when you when you said that. So um, good to know. Yeah, I'm Even- also very surprised. Well, <laughs> she came from SD. Okay. So I guess on her way up, she stopped by. Oh. I don't know. I mean, it's like a, you know, it's a newish place. You know, it looks a little hip and trendy. Mm, okay. um, so I think kind of makes sense. It might it might get a little bit attention uh, lately. So that's cool. Very cool. Uh, while you enjoy your sweet treats, I wanted to share about a pretty significant event uh, that, that mm-hmm. happened recently, at least as we're talking, by the time uh, this comes out. I don't know. Maybe it's old news. But um, we're talking about really a seminal event, um, really the wedding of the century. We want to congratulate our good friends, Jamie and Dave. Um, yeah, we just, they just had a beautiful ceremony recently um, at, uh, at one of the... Uh, uh, capoeira studios uh you know from it's it's interesting you know we met jamie through because of you know because of food right you know visiting mm-hmm. and uh eating and and board games subsequently but really you know n- knowing about jamie's circle um and and hanging out with some of those people it's all through capoeira you know mm-hmm. And to those who don't know, uh, including myself, you know, that's uh, the Brazilian martial arts kind of jujitsu kind of style of, um, but it's, um, yeah, it's, it's even, you know, you have people from all walks of life, you know, I think you can apply this to other kind of circles, but I mean, in this case, people from all sorts of places and backgrounds, but you know, they all have this common thread of, of capoeira, you know, and, um, I'm doing it for decades quite literally you know it's uh it's quite fascinating really um but and so it it was nice to of course to see everyone come together at this studio this space uh that was really transformed you know for um for them and it was uh it was such a great event um you know family friends um and and so on and of course excellent uh food as well so um as far as the food goes, it had some pretty heavy hitters, um, some great choices uh, from Jamie, um, bringing together one uh, evil cooks who make uh, some great mm-hmm. some great tacos. Um, we had they offered um, you know their uh, al pastor, their you know asada um, in that kind of signature you know um, dark black marinade, which was uh, and always very flavorful. So uh, that was that was really good. Um, but to be honest, as much as, uh, love as it got, it, it really was kind of, 
uh, in the shadow of this other vendor uh, from the Bangkok Lady. And um, this was a vendor that uh, Jamie had come across um, a while back and we had tried together and and um, I had subsequently tried after as well. Uh, they're based out of uh, the OC in, um, in Westminster and uh, they make uh, Bang Cot, which is uh, this Vietnamese kind of little mini savory pancakes. Mm. So, my child, I, I think we've mentioned them from, t- you know, at least once. But if you can, if, if you know, to try to relate, the way they make them, um, uh, you have this kind of, uh, you have a pan. But, you know, each pan kind of has this, like, kind of divot in there. Um, uh-huh. If you are familiar with... Um, the evil skeever dessert. I don't know. This is a uh, going off on a kind of a, okay. So, no. so in, um, in Solvang, you know, if you mm-hmm. ever go out there, there is a, a particular dessert called an evil skeever and the evil skeever pan that they make. There's like these round little, they're like donut holes. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the way to, but the way they make them in, in these evil skeever pans, it's like one pan, but like with these many multiple, uh, again, uh, Dips. Like a takoyaki pen. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now we're all bringing the cultures together. We've got. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It's in, all connected. In a better way to to relate. But yes, in that way. So mm-hmm. um, you you know you have the batter in there, right? The little pancake like crepe batter, and then you fill it in with all these different little savory uh, fillings like shrimp or pork, and you know, and then mm-hmm. other little veggies, you know, typical for uh, in the Vietnamese, um, you know. Uh, Okay, so um, <laughs> from there, then, you know, you serve it on, you know, with uh, uh, lettuce and, and other uh, mints and, and herbs and mm. other things like that. Anyway, going to that, that was probably the most popular, you know, um, food vendor there. I mean, after the event, we haven't even talked about the event, yet, but but the, the, um, <laughs> the, you know, after the event, you know, the little cocktail hour, you know, th- that line was just, uh, that was just packed like through and through, you know, uh, throughout the whole time, you know, it's always a line okay. people were waiting. Um, but you know, rightfully so. I mean, it's, uh, it was such a popular, such a hit and it was, it was just as good, you know, as just, you remember having them, um, at the restaurant. So, um, you know, I, I think Jamie was very happy, you know, that one that they secured them early on mm-hmm. and, uh, that they really delivered. So, um, and then as far as other, uh, vendors or food things, uh, there was a, uh, a wing vendor. I don't know specifically from where, uh, if there was any particular, but, uh, that of course caters to, uh, to Dave's palate, uh, and they mm-hmm. were mighty fine wings. So, um, you know, nothing, nothing to complain about those. Uh, but it was nice to kind of see, it's kind of fun to see like a, a whole like plate, like pile of the wings just, uh, ready for Dave. Uh, when, when that time comes. So, um, <laughs> and you know, maybe not surprisingly, maybe because of that, they, they did sell out first. So, um, <laughs> and then, uh, later on, uh, another vendor smorology came along and they set up a, a s'more, uh, station. So, you mm-hmm. know, you had your graham crackers, your marshmallows, all your different, you know, um, things to include on there. Um, it was really like, uh, mini smorgasburg you know <laughs> As expected from, uh, oh, anything james involved with <laughs> yeah i wouldn't expect anything less so mm-hmm. um but uh yeah i mean and then i think the uh for dessert we had the uh the chocolate cake uh coming from tartine you know the tartine bakery uh in pasadena which makes sense that's uh you know it's uh where jamie currently uh resides there but um they they had a, a nice single tier three layer chocolate cake you know pretty thick uh, chocolate buttercream on there um, <laughs> so it's pretty pretty decadent you know um, but it was enjoyable at least for me and I'm sure you know those who had it would enjoy it too so it it was a overall a, a really great event the ceremony itself was um, again was beautiful it was um, kind of moving. Um, and, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too long a ceremony, you know, maybe not more than a half an hour or something, but again, uh, millennial wedding. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the things that, uh, that took place over there, exchanging, you know, rings, the vows and things like that. Um, and comments from the, it was interesting too, you know, they had, uh, kind of had co coefficients, 
Um, oh. Yeah, so Jamie That's, had had hers. Um, for variable, right? Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah, so absolutely. Variable and, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, ampli- to help amplify, really, the, yes. uh, <laughs> the whole event. But Jamie had hers from her circle, and then uh, Dave had... Uh, his 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 buddy uh from from his circle so um you know they said their remarks and um yeah overall it was just a just a good time so and then people just uh busting it out on the the dance floor Mm -hmm. and all that so of course yeah so um especially her circle of friends sure i mean i think dave's friends got down with it too oh true 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 but i mean just the cup where i said you know yeah, they can move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I'm breaking my back here, but uh, you know, they, yeah. they got the moves. They got the moves. So they have no spine in the they're like belly. <laughs> um. So anyway, that to say again, uh, it really was uh you know the wedding of the century. So uh, congrats to uh, Jamie and and Dave for that. Um. So with that aside, you know, we're speaking of food and we'll continue to do that. So we want to thank our few and only fans, you know, for once again joining us as we talk about our food adventures, you know, with these local spots, pop-ups, whatever, you know, good food, good people, really what it comes down to. Um, Today, we wanted to, well, really, I wanted to kind of take a step, uh, take a step back and, and actually talk about a, a trip that I had taken back, um, I don't know, sometime last year. Um, but September, isn't it? You're right. It was in September. I'm not sure how mm-hmm. you remember that. I, uh, but there you go. Um, this was a trip out to, uh, to New York. Um, as you know, New York, my child, we've talked about, uh, we've talked about your adventures in New York yeah. and, and, uh, the fun you had there. So I think I got a little bit of FOMO. So, um, <laughs> So I did a little FOMO with a little bit of YOLO, a little bit of Froyo, a little bit of, I don't know. So all those in between. So um, <laughs> I will say, I'll jump a little ahead. I, um, you know, as I uh, took my first uh, subway ride down there, as I arrived, I, I was encountered by, um, by a pretty large rat. And, yes, uh, as it should be. And I felt that my trip was then complete. <laughs> so... <laughs> can't get any can't get any better at that point. no i thought that was pretty good that was the highlight really uh <laughs> and from there we will wrap it up no uh <laughs> new york was um i don't know it had been a while since i'd last been probably in my late teens or something i think it's been that long mm-hmm. and so um to kind of see a lot of the changes and um i don't know just to actually appreciate a lot of these places now as a, a so-called adult i guess but um, to kind of see, appreciate it, you know, on your time and not your mm-hmm. pace, you know. And of course, you know, when you want to take a trip, uh, maybe to a place that you haven't been or maybe to a new place, you want to try to do as much as you can um, with the time that you have, you know. So, I mean, I was only there for a weekend, you know, two, three days. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure I hit some of the highlights. Um, I know there's so much more that, you know, could have uh, explored and and looked into but i think this was a pretty good start and not surprisingly you know it uh, revolves around food and um uh that's what we're gonna kind of focus on of course and kind of hit those places that uh, i visited and maybe you know if you're interested if you're down there hopefully you'll maybe pay a visit to one of these places or find an itinerary of your own or adventure of your own um and then come back and say angelo your suggestions were trash um, this is what you should do. So whatever you decide, I, I get out there. <laughs> um, but let's just, uh, let's just jump right in here finally. And we'll, we'll start with, um, our day, uh, our morning in, um, in Manhattan. And, yeah. um, what better way to start the day than with, uh, some bagels. So I think that was definitely on top of mind. And of course, like kind of planning out uh, the timing, logistics of everything of what's open and whatever. So bagels was definitely on there. And so uh, as I got off, uh, you know, got off the uh, the train um, coming from Jersey to New York, um, I walked down oh, to this okay. spot called uh, Best Bagel and Coffee uh, down on 7th and 35th. And uh, we have a. There's a few things to show you here, but you know, that's the storefront there. 
And, you know, really, as much as I, um, I don't know, I just realized, you know, bagels is just not something that really comes to mind for me uh, here in L.A. Maybe that's just mm-hmm. my taste. I know they're out there and I know they exist and there are some phenomenal places uh, that I've had the pleasure to try. But, yeah, it's just, um, you know, here in New York, it's just uh, it's just everywhere. Right. It's just one of those mm-hmm. places that is just everywhere. And, um, you know, as much as we. Uh, really like to, uh, to an extent, like celebrate things here in LA and really like really up, you know, a showcase, you know, certain things and highlights of these types of foods here. It's just, it's just everywhere. And, um, I think the places that you would happen to visit, they're, they're great. I mean, they will be a, mm. it'll be a good bite. Um, just something to, uh, fill you up and, and get you through the day. But, um, as far as, um, appreciating the bagel, I think, uh, there's this place and another place we'll talk about later. We just want to showcase that um, or try it out by by having an everything bagel and um, some cream cheese. I mean, a plain okay. cream cheese. So nothing yeah. too nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated. But I thought this was a good way to um, uh, just again appreciate what the uh, the quintessential. Uh, can't even say that. I'm so uh, I'm so hungry now. Um, just really, yeah, the, the quintessential uh, bagel. Uh, so, um, I mean, again, my child, you and I, you know, we appreciate a good schmear. We appreciate a good dollop of cream cheese, of cream anything, cheese yeah. a good brick now and then. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. A whole brick all at once, please. Yep. I will I will still do that. I don't even care. Yeah, same here. So you just pair that with a cup of coffee and, uh, and then you're good to go. So I don't know. I mean, you know, the bagel, they say the water's different or something like yeah. that. Um, they also don't toast bagels out there. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you do, they will um, thing here. Yeah, exactly. Um, but with that said, I don't I don't think toasting is all that necessary, at least when it's uh, when you're talking about a fresh bagel, you know, mm-hmm. um, it's not not terribly chewy. It's got a nice soft, you know, kind of uh, bite there. And then there's just enough cream cheese. I mean, I know we want to layer it on there. If we could get the whole brick, let's do that. Yeah, but, honestly, just um, put, put the brick in between the two sides of bagel and you're done. <laughs> Wrapper still on. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's an inconvenience. We don't like that. <laughs> Some extra minerals in there, I think. Uh, <laughs> Only you would eat that. <laughs> Probably. Um, so, you know, uh, after some bagels and some subway rides and boats and whatnot, uh, it was time already for the next meal. And that brings us to uh, Bleecker Street. So we wanted, I ah. wanted to get some, um, some slices in and just see, of course, the quintessential slice. And, um, of course... Just like the bagels, slices are a plenty. You can find them in ev- almost every street corner. Um, every every spot you go to will be, you know, will offer some sort of uh, some sort of pizza, you know. And you know, I was tempted to first start off with like a, you know, a uh, a dollar or dollar fifty slice, you know. But um, I thought I'd just start with something punching a little higher above. And so that mm-hmm. brings us to Bleecker Street here. And um, it's a small shop. It's out in um, Greenwich uh, Village. And, um, you know, as far as the slices, because this was my first stop for pizza, I thought I'd try a couple of slices. And so that brought me to, um, you know, these two. Just uh, a simple cheese slice. I think just like how I had the bagel, just kind of simple uh, this is the equivalent of that, of having a cheese slice, but also accompanied by another slice, which they are well known for. Um, no, I think it's called the Nona uh, Maria. Uh, and so that's, uh, you know, a slice with mozzarella and uh, Parmesan and uh, some basil. That's what you see on there. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, for those who I read that would recommend this or, I think it really delivers, you know, it's, um, it's a really fresh slice. The tomatoes, you know, um, is, is nice is, uh, along with the basil and the mozzarella, uh, just all together. And probably what's most important, you know, to consider is, um, is the fold. And so, you know, the fold is what we see here and this is a beautiful fold. Um, there are many folds, many pizzas, uh, many undercarriages, Many, um, many charred, uh, undersides, but overall it comes to that fold and, uh, this holds up really nicely. Um, so that's over at, uh, at, at Bleecker street. I don't remember my child. What, uh, why is it, uh, 
Why is it horizontal? <laughs> or why isn't it horizontal when you took what? this picture? Well, I mean, it, the... It demonstrates uh, the, the sturdiness of the fold. Right. Um, it certainly is. Maybe if you turn your head... Sure, then, sure. Then I think you can really appreciate just how sturdy it is. Okay? All right. <laughs> so it takes a little bit of uh, of audience participation. Um, is that what it is? All right. Yes, even, even to those who are listening. <laughs> just turn your head. <laughs> and uh, you'll probably get it. Yeah, about what ninety degrees, and then I think you're good. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that was Bleecker Street. But while I was in that area, um, I would Call be Sanctum? remiss. Sanctum Santorum is on Bleecker Street. The Avengers, Doctor Strange House. It's fine. Okay, well, there's another uh, heroic reference that we will make. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you here. Okay, I'm gonna try to relate. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Toby Maguire. Wait, is that his oh, name? Hey. <laughs> yes, Spider Man. Yeah. Yes, I believe Spider Man Two, uh, as it was alluded here, with our next oh, spot, it? and that would be just down the street at uh, at Joe's Pizza. <laughs> is, that, is that where uh, Mary Jane almost died? I'm not sure, but I know that's where um, you know. Peter Parker got fired, so um, oh, because oh, he okay. couldn't deliver the pizzas on time. Yes, it was always so, late. Right, so uh, I believe this. I, I, if I recall, yeah, I did. I saw like posters all over, and you know things like that referencing. You know, this is where oh, of course know, the Spider-Man thing was done, and um, so I, you know, I did watch a little clip of that just to, you know, kind of recall that. But anyway, but Joe's Pizza, that is a certainly, um, you know, the pizza's pizza really of uh of new york um might i recall that you've had a slice as well uh from joe's yes yes and uh, so and so also here it is again? yeah just a cheese slice again just to compare yeah. a simple uh a simple uh new york style slice it was really more for the form you know of of the pizza um what's your preferred slice i don't i don't really know do you like uh what do you get on there I mean, if you're trying to go simple, just at least pepperoni, man. What I is see. this vegetarian nonsense? I, I guess <laughs> at this point it's vegan. But <laughs> uh, it's cheese, man. Wait. Yeah. Um, but this is um, this is just a I mean, it's a small shop, you know, it's only a few seats, you know, not. And, you know, it's still pretty busy, but it's uh, it's I think this is the OG location as well. So um, mm, it was nice to okay. kind of visit, you know. Uh, where it all started, I suppose. And again, we're looking at that undercarriage, that uh, that fold. Um, again, turn your head about a few degrees, and um, no, Close I mean, enough. I thought I thought that was quite good. I think comparing it to uh, to Bleaker, you know, I think uh, Bleaker's a little bit got a little bit more substance there, a um, little more, uh, you know, to offer. But I think, um, of course, at a price, a certain price point. But uh, for Joe's, you get a certain yeah, I get a certain just familiar, now familiar, really, um, kind of bite and what to expect from just a good New York slice. So, um, again, Joe's down there uh, along with Bleecker Street. Now, we have to uh, we have to round out, you know, this entire meal, really, with something something sweet. And um, what better way, my a child, than... Cheese. Absolutely. <laughs> Once again, we are re we are revisiting uh, cream cheese, but in another another medium, another uh, another way, and that is through cheesecakes. So oh, glorious! <laughs> oh, I love a New York cheesecake. <laughs> oh cheesecake. my god! Um, remind me, did you uh, have a chance to to try a, a New York cheesecake out there? I just realized we didn't. And I'm oh. upset. You've really robbed yourself. Of <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's too bad. Um, go I know back. it just seemed well, you know. I, th I think people's, uh, you know, plans and stuff, they, they, they're going to change. And, yeah, you know, hopefully there's a stupid wedding. That's why I took a ball day. Exactly. Exactly. Day you should have just. Mm -mm. Well, next time you're out there or next time we got to go wedding, ditch that and then go yeah, here yeah. instead. Come that here to uh, to Eileen's. This is Eileen's okay. special cheesecake. Uh, it's down in lower Manhattan. And um, what's nice, my chow, you know, is that they, of course, we course think of a, a cheesecake a slice a typical slice like a cake slice a trying triangular mm -hmm. you know serving or whatever what's nice about this is that they make um like little 
mini individually sized cute oh, size. okay. <laughs> um personal sized uh, little cheesecakes um so we've what we see here is just a we've got a plain one and then one with a with a strawberry so they got so many different flavors uh different size and they have larger sizes than my child i mean if you want a whole you know 10 inch one feel, feel please okay, feel that's free that's no problem um but it was just nice 10 -inch one topped with these yes absolutely yeah oh glorious yeah i don't even remember i mean we'll take you know take a look at that menu over there look them up uh, but they got different types of toppings and things that you can enjoy with your cheesecakes i don't remember like i don't know at this point um what the uh the go-to is for a new year cheesecake like where do you go you know as mm -hmm. far as the big names um but this place came up and uh, i think this is definitely still pretty well known even outside you know of the city but um, it's definitely more of a, a neighborhood spot, um, you know, again, relatively small space, but, uh, I mean, still a lot of good people coming through. Um, so don't, don't sleep on it. So, um, especially you, especially us. Yeah. Um, now that day, I think we, uh, had to, of course, end it with a, with another meal. This meal was, um, was pretty good pretty special i'd say um i uh, got to meet up with uh with a buddy um who was who was staying there who was who had moved there a little bit you know and now has moved back since and uh that that's uh uh alec from agl barbecue and um oh yeah so he uh, he was there during uh during the time i was there he was still over there he's now again moved back but mm -hmm. um we finally had a chance to kind of hit, um, I got to hit him up and we had to, sh we had a chance to share a good meal together. We met up, of course, uh, at a barbecue spot because of course no trip would be complete without barbecue. And, um, this was a place that had been on my mind for a while. And, um, I finally had the chance to try it and share as, as we've talked about, you know, sharing, um, you know, barbecue is, is a little more advantageous than trying to tackle it, uh, as a solo diner, but, um, we'll take a look here. We'll take, we'll just kind of get some of the highlights here of the, of the menu, but, um, this is hometown barbecue and, uh, they have a couple locations, but we're at the Red Hook location, which is, uh, down in Brooklyn. And, um, you know, this is, uh, again, a place that, I had heard about, you know, early on in my barbecue adventures and now finally got the chance to try. So what we see here, we have, um, you know, the, some of the essentials we have, you know, we have brisket, uh, we also have some Turkey. Um, mm -hmm. and then on that same tray is also actually a pastrami sando. So we'll nice. compare that to, uh, some of the, to some of the other pastrami we'll, we'll look at later, but, we have a couple different ribs. We have some Korean glaze sticky ribs. You know, that seems to be popular. I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but oh, I think really? that's like kind of a popular uh, flavoring. I think that a lot of barbecue guys like to to offer, whether on the ribs or the pork belly or, pork belly, yeah. you know, <laughs> exactly. So nice to see that on there. Jones. Yeah, exactly. Um, shout out once again. But we have another set of um, uh, ribs here. It's uh, like a jerk more like with the jerk sauce, um, you know, that Jamaican. So mm -hmm. a little bit more heat with that. And then just far out there is like a, just like a thick cut of, uh, of bacon, pastrami bacon, actually. So, oh, pastrami. Okay. yeah. So, um, that was, uh, and then, you know, we have some sides there again, uh, more vegan, but, um, let's see here. I think we have a couple to show that was just a close up there. I think of the, of uh, the jerk chicken, you know, I think overall, I was trying to remember the meal because it's been quite a while. Um, you know, as much as we uh, love to support, you know, uh, the fellow uh, pit masters and, you know, barbecue joints, overall it was good. I think we were hoping for a little bit more punch, a little bit more flavor, I think, um. from some of these dishes. Um, I think the jerk did have some some heat there. Um, and... Um, Let's see. What else did I have? Oh, the, the pastrami. The pastrami sandwich was pretty good. I think it was pretty fatty. Um, maybe touching on, you know, just that borderline of like overly so. But, um, you know, again, uh, the next the next part we're going to talk about, obviously, it will be uh, maybe a direct comparison. But, you know, a smoked meat, a pastrami, when it's, you know, the flavor 
of pastrami can be um can be overdone uh too often or it could be under i mean the brine itself you know can be uh can be a tricky thing to master but um you know this was a good overall a good pastrami sandwich so um you know if if that's on the menu then make sure you uh you know you try it out um so the uh that was dinner and uh so i really appreciate uh you know uh, meeting up with alec and i'm glad he's back and he's doing his thing uh with his pop-ups and and events and things so if uh any of you have a chance to uh visit him down there in the south bay and in other areas he's popping up then uh, that'll be all good um so speaking of uh the strami you know uh the next spot is one of those again quintessential spots for pastrami and that spot is is cats um so cats is uh it's an institution you know it's uh it's a historic you know just oh, really wow. well-known spot um much i remind me have you did you visit cats out there we uh, did not okay well uh, that? what's that where is that uh cats is on the lower east side that's all i can lower tell you right side. now oh, okay, okay. Oh, no. Um, so, I mean, you see the, uh, um, the intersection here, but, uh, you know, it's just right there at the corner. Um, but you see the line already kind of forming. I think I, I think I arrived there pretty, uh, just, just right around the time when it was open already. Uh, you can already see the line. And of course we have our pastrami grates here in LA, um, from Langer's to Brent's and, you know, uh, several others, but cats is really what people talk about, um, about, you know, New York's, you know, pastrami mm -hmm. sandwich. So, uh, I just wanted to take a look inside and, um, you know, again, old school spot, right? Neon signs, you know, kind of old school signage and whatnot. Uh, I just want to let you know that, you know, you enter through, you get, I think what happens is that you get a ticket, um, and you take that ticket uh, don't lose the ticket. You provide it to uh, the guy who's at the counter, wh whoever's slicing. And there are multiple stations. You can see them numbered here. Um, so you kind of enter in one line, but then just make sure, you know, if there's space, if there is room at another line, you can meander on through that other line. You don't have to stay in the main line you're entering through. So um, that way you kind of help ease up uh, some traffic and get your food sooner. Uh, and then with that ticket, they'll you know write down whatever you've ordered, and then you you'll bring that eventually to the the cashier for payment. So again, just don't lose that ticket. But um, again, you can see it's pretty busy. Uh, I think we have a shot here. There you go of um, the slicing of the of the pastrami. These guys are just like I don't know, they're masters. They um, it, it's really nice. You know, you that fork, right? They they just whenever they're bringing out a new uh, pastrami, they just they just like you know they stab the thing and then they just yeah. hold it one handed, just like yeah. bring it. It's like nothing, you know. Uh, it's a beautiful sight, really. Um, but um, really, that really makes for a good uh, a good sh a good sandwich. So this is um, purely just uh, the pastrami. You know, you got some mustard on there, nothing too fancy on some rye. And, um, is that, um, is that like a double protein? Is that a single, a regular, it's serving? just a single, you know, it's a Glorious. single serving, but you know, I'm sure I can't remember exactly offhand what the price point is, but it's a higher price point, you know, yeah. maybe at least <laughs> let's, let's just throw it out there. Maybe like 20 plus 2025, 20, you know, mm, yeah. um, but it's plenty to, to go around. I mean, you yeah, can easily share it, but then, you know, why would you exactly? And <laughs> other, you can either share it or you could be us. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <guess> so. <laughs> um but that is a meat sandwich i tell you that right now um so good a good uh good meal overall um and then down the street you know uh, i have to say unfortunately i did not have the chance to visit russ and daughters another kind of institution for excellent bagels um mm. but uh oh. they're just they're just down the street yeah yeah, we yeah. passed by that. We almost went into it. You um, yeah, we, it was it was a little crowded. But that means yeah. that we might have passed. We should have passed by. Yeah, that's a deli, and maybe I just we just didn't even notice. Yeah, you probably did, but um, Damn, you know. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. But I have one more thing to bring up there, and more of a more of a quiz. 
if anything. I know we didn't study or nothing, but Jesus, I'm gonna I'm bring scared. up uh, I'm gonna bring up the map here of uh, of cats on here, and here's cats right, and uh, here's the street that it uh, resides on. Um, okay. What is the name of that street? Houston. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. To um, so just so you don't sound like a complete tourist uh, and novice. Yes, that is uh, that's Houston Street, uh, named after mm. I guess William Houston, who I uh, really have no idea who that is. Probably the mayor of Houston, original or the founder of Houston. It could have been. Um, family. Yeah. I guess they, they, you know, I guess it's named after, not to be confused, of course, commonly pronounced uh, with Houston, Texas, who's named after some other fellow named Houston. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, nicely done. Um, well, that was a trick question, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where's he going with this? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So now let's see. From there, we travel a little uptown, and I don't remember the activities in between, but I ended up at a uh, another eatery, this time for hot dogs. Now, hot dogs, of course, are another, you know, um, staple of uh, New York cuisine. Um, True. But in this case, yeah, I um, I realized I didn't really visit any hot dog carts, you know. What? Uh, yeah, what? like from these, you know, saline, salty water yeah. or whatever that they pull from. But uh, I visited another uh, spot instead. And this spot is called uh, Gray's Papaya. It's a fancy schmancy hot, hot dog spot. I guess so. You know, it's a, this brick and mortar. Just again, kind of this old school, um, kind of longstanding uh, oh, okay. spot. So we see here in Upper, on, in, uh, in Uptown, um, but Grace Papaya, the the papaya refers to the uh, the drink, the papaya drink, and they have other flavors as well for their beverages. But I think it's uh, namely this kind of, you know, sweet papaya flavor that that you pair with these um, these simple but uh, supposedly higher quality hot dogs. I don't know about quality necessarily compared to you know what you get the hot dog cart. Um, size wise, it's actually. Kind of small <laughs> for my taste. I don't know. But um, they have a, uh, if you look in the menu, they'll have this thing called the uh, the recession special, uh, which is uh, two hot dogs and, uh, and a drink um, for some reasonable price. But okay. here we have uh, just two hot dogs, um, just topped with some onion, sauerkraut, and dolloped with mayo. I don't quite remember uh, if I'd asked for extra mayo, but uh, it's on there. And, uh, <laughs> um, nothing like a good mayo with your with your dog. So um, uh, that's Grace Papaya. There's also uh, I I think the history is that uh, this was founded by a former owner of another spot called Papaya King, which also did hot dogs and these papaya drinks. So I think whoever you know, one of those former guys, just you know, just did their own thing eventually. You know, so. Um, but that's Grace Papaya. Uh, you know, um, I think they had multiple locations at one point, and then you know, because of I don't know uh, economy and whatnot, I guess maybe they they're just down to this one. Mm. All right. So while we're in Uptown, not too far away, uh, need to get some sweets in there. So um, I decided to pay a visit to Levan Bakery. So Levan is uh, a place that we've kind of mentioned here and mm -hmm. a place that I, I don't remember how exactly I, you know, I really came across, um, you know, this, pl this spot. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's on social media or something, um, but no, I'm not right, sure right. how the, I'm not sure how the algorithm brought it to me. But uh, ever since, you know, I'd been very interested to try them out. I think at one point I had uh, ordered, uh, you know, mail order. You know, some oh, of their, really? yeah, some of their, their cookies and stuff. Um, and, you know, I enjoyed it then. You reheat it in the oven or something. But uh, now to have it in L.A. and then, you know, to try the OG in um, mm -hmm. here in, uh, in New York was a real treat. And it's a small spot. I mean, it's nothing like, uh, it's nothing big. It's just like this, almost like a bungalow, if you will. Um, you know, you just kind of take a walk down a small set of stairs and then the space itself is really, really tight. <laughs> 
you know, um, but there was a good amount of people getting their uh, getting their cookies. Um, and again, these uh, cookies are pretty, pretty signature, I think. And um, it's um, they're big. They're big. Yeah, they're thick. True. They're uh, they got this kind of crispy outside, but a really kind of soft, uh, chewy inside. I almost feel like it's like a cross with like a cookie versus like meat scone kind of situation. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I think that's just me. I might not necessarily scone because scones can be kind of, um, I don't know. What's the word? Dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but this is not that, you know, yeah, the, the, the center is definitely still very moist, you know, and, um, and the chocolate chips lend well there too. There's, um, mm. should be some, is it uh, walnuts that they use in there? That's okay. I think that's the uh, the typical cookie. But you you can get there are other variants, double chocolate things like that. Mm-hmm. But this is uh, the Leven cookie to 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 try. And again, now that we're in LA, they got one here. I think it. You know, I was trying both, and I think they were um, they were pretty similar. So okay. um, I good. think there is just as much to enjoy uh, at you know West Coast versus East Coast. So. I'm uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, and then to um, kind of finish off the day there, I had just come back from I was just walking from Times Square and watched a a musical out there, and um, of course he had to go. Yeah, what did you watch again? I don't remember. It was uh, Chicago. Oh Chicago. right, right. Yeah. I don't know. Really... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All that jazz, baby. Um, so <laughs> right, I'm, I'm walking from uh, from uh, I forget whatever theater I was at, um, and it started to rain. You know, I did not expect right. the rain. I didn't expect the rain. I didn't know it was going to rain. I mean, I saw some forecast earlier in the week, but then as the week went on, like there, it it didn't really show anything. Um, but sure enough, the rain decided to come through and um, you know share a little bit of love there. So. Uh, it did start to rain and I was totally unprepared. You know, I had no, no form of mm. cover, no jacket, no sweater, no nothing, you know, got my hat, you know, that's about it. But, um, but, um, with that said, that's not going to stop me from, um, uh, from getting some food and neither did it stop uh, all these people here. What we're looking at is a line down to, uh particular food cart called Adele's famous halal food and there right there in Times Square you can see Radio City just right across you know the Rockefeller Center you know down there um just a real New York scenic you know kind of view there um and this one mighty food cart you know serving um hundreds of people you know into the night I mean it's just oh is it like in that plaza where there's like a, a statue of some kind. Yeah, I'm gonna say I yes. I'm seeing a long ass line around yeah. that. I yeah, I guess it would be that. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, this yeah, is the line we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's radio. I see. I see. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. So it's like it was raining. Okay, and so um, I again, it didn't really stop me. It wasn't at that point. It still wasn't raining like really heavy. Like yeah, but it but it was still coming down. You know, and um, it was kind of interesting. I um. There are some people in front of me, two young ladies, and uh, who were also woefully unprepared. Um, and then there were two guys in front of them, you know, uh, bros, if you will. And um, one of them stepped away, and they came back with like um, like a sign, like a little, uh, you know, like a sign. I don't know, like a like a, a sign. sandwich board <laughs> sign or like a cardboard uh, sign. What are we talking here? What's a sandwich board sign? Is that the triangle? You know, the ones that the people wear, right? Um, You could think of it like that. Yeah, just like one half of that, I suppose. Oh, okay, okay, I see. They find one of those, um, and, you know, the guy brings it back. And then what he does, he shares it with his friend. They, like, put it over their head, right? Mm -hmm. And it creates, like, this, you know, creates cover, right? But also, it creates this gap in between that's also covered. So the two young girls, they, like, uh, they walk under, right? And they're Mm -hmm. also like uh protected uh from the rain and then they make friends and you know it's all you know, yeah and really they good. risen them up right exactly uh yeah, much yeah. it's all part of the plan absolutely um i don't got no riz like that but 
<laughs> what I do got is uh, an empty stomach at this point and a very wet hat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> that is a literal. Um, but I do want to take the time to shout out to someone. Um, uh, what I hope is a, a buddy now. His name is Vince. I want to thank Vince because uh, he he hooked me up with a little bit of cover. Uh, he was standing behind me, and um, I think it took me a while to kind of realize uh, he he was sharing his umbrella with me. And um, at some point, I I did turn around, and you know I I realized yeah uh, yeah this this guy uh, I I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, but yeah he's uh, he's helping me out here. So you know we got to talking and. Um, He's, uh, I think from actually from Cal, uh, from here, from California, but I think NorCal, um, and his, uh, his girlfriend is actually studying in New York and he's visiting there. And yeah, I mean, it was just one of those nights where he's grabbing something to eat for them and, um, you know, uh, lucky him to stand behind me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, he's trying to raise you up maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Um, so, <laughs> you know, we got to talking, but the wait for this uh, for this food was I don't know. I think I remember waiting at least an hour. Could be an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it yeah. was a pretty gnarly line, rain. and it was still growing behind us. You know, there's still a good Crazy. crowd. I know. Uh, so it it won't stop New Yorkers from. Uh, I mean, here in California, it's like you know we've a alluded to. Yeah, yeah, I'm such a coward. <laughs> I am so. I don't know. It's so crazy. Um, yeah, it was raining on Saturday. I was like, Ugh, forget it. I'm not doing anything. I know. I know. Yeah. Speaking of the rain, I mean, going back to that. Yeah, it was raining on Saturday, but it, it did clear up uh, later that day, thankfully, for, uh, yeah. you know, Jamie and Dave's wedding. So that's uh, very true. Yeah. It was uh, very fortuitous uh, for that. Um, but nothing cleared up here in New York. It's just like, here you go. It just deal with it. Um, <laughs> so he was, uh, again, want to thank Vince for that and um, hope you're doing all right. Uh, so as far as the meal itself, uh, yeah, really couldn't enjoy it on the spot, but, uh, we just got a plate of, uh, this combo plate of chicken and lamb, um, uh, mm -hmm. with some extra white sauce and on a bed of, um, I forget it, it's, uh, some, definitely some, uh, spiced rice, I believe. So, um, but the meats are where it's at, you know, got some lamb and chicken on there. And so you see the garnish as well. <laughs> yes. I mean. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, after getting after getting the plate, take I uh, had to you know ride back home uh, to where I was staying. So I took the subway down and then enjoyed this back uh, where I was staying. And uh, no, it was still it was still great. I mean, it's been a while since I've had something like a halal guys or something like that. I'd be interested to um, uh, try discover more places like this some halal joints you know there there are restaurants that offer halal dishes or just halal, halal preparation um but we'll see we'll see but adele's as far as um you know on its own it was it was stellar i mean i really enjoyed it i think and it was super cheap it's like probably like under 10 bucks or something you know um as much as we okay. have the appreciation of street food and um you know vendors and things like that here in la um I don't know. It's stuff like this. Uh, I don't think you really find too much of, or there just needs to be more of out here. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. So we got a lot of taco carts. That's what we have instead. Yeah. I mean, that's our, that's our cheap go to eats, you yeah. know, and they're yeah. substantial. They can, they can fill you up too, but, um, but yeah, it'd be nice I'm, to have a variety of those kinds mm -hmm. of. Yeah, kinds exactly. Of so I think we need a little bit more uh, embrace from, um, you know, to them. Uh, now we are coming towards the, um, the end of this substantial trip. Um, and, uh, to it, the rain was still coming, uh, thankfully not as strong, but it was still coming down. So I started off the day, um, at my local bodega. So my Jeff, uh, we, I don't remember if we talked about this at length, but, um, you know, bodega is basically your local, um, convenience store, mini mart, you know, if you will. Yeah, that sells yeah groceries. exactly from groceries to convenience store stuff mm -hmm. but um and they're scattered throughout you know all the boroughs you know wherever yeah. you're staying you know you're gonna find one just down the street you're gonna find one like three doors down you know they're all over they're serving all the people but what's really 
kind of characteristic, it seems, you know, in addition to all the convenience things that you can buy, they have like a 24 seven man, you know, with a uh, man in the grill, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, you get all this hot food that you can, you can order, um, from sandwiches to burritos to whatnot. I mean, like you got someone there ready to go to, to fix you up, uh, you know, something, something hot. So I think, I um, I thought a requirement for bodegas was a cat. Who is? Bodegas. It's a bodega cat. It's not a real bodega unless they have a cat. Oh, well, maybe That's my cat was, was sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to check it out. Mm. Um, but uh, <laughs> this bodega, maybe the cat was hiding or something. I don't know. But uh, the the thing to get, really, uh, the quintessential, once again, um, is to get uh, a bacon, egg, and cheese. A BEC. Ooh. You know, and um, and this is a really simple, you know, item. It's uh, bacon, egg and cheese on a Kaiser roll. Nothing too complicated. Mm -hmm. um, and it's super cheap. It's like five bucks, you know. Um, so this is what you get. This is what people, you know, this is what people live on, you know. I um, would, yeah. yeah. You know, they, they take this on their commute to work or on their way home or something. Um, Good breakfast on the go. It is. I mean, this is just like another thing I feel like. I mean, California, we have our breakfast burritos, right? Yeah. Um, and things of that it's nature. True. But, you know, this is just another portable, you know, me means of like eating. Uh, and again, it's like at the price point too. And the fact that you can get this like at pretty much any time, you know, of the day is just uh, is really nothing short of amazing. So next time you're staying at a, you know, at a borough, Brooklyn or whatever, you know, outside of Manhattan, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, you'll want to visit your local bodega. It don't, it doesn't really matter, you know, which one you go to. I don't want to say they're all the same, but you know, you'll really find the same kind of experience, um, you know, every, you know, at each one you go to. So, um, now after that, uh, a couple more places uh, wanted to revisit a um, you know what bagels are all about in in New York so the next spot I visited uh, was Tompkins Square Bagels um, this look they have various locations but this one's uh, out in the Lower East Side this was you know kind of making my route on my way back um, to the airport but yeah Tompkins Square this is Avenue A I think this is I want to say this is the original location um, but uh, near Tompkins Square uh, but this is just another one of those places that is very well regarded by uh, locals and tourists alike. Uh, this is a place that people um, really like to go to. And so in this case, I uh, tried a couple of things. The first, again, is uh, everything bagel with cream cheese, but with uh, this time with a little bit of scallion in there. So mm -hmm. I don't know what your thoughts are, scallion and cream cheese, but I think it's a great pairing. There's no bad pairing with cream cheese. Thank you. Um, so, yes. So we start off with that. And again, you see a little bit more and a little bit more offered uh, on the, the cream cheese there. A little yeah, bit of dots, a little more important. half there. Um, and then, but I also wanted to try um, something similar to what I had just eaten, a, a bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we have that also on a uh, an everything bagel. Um but uh, just a little more substantial. But yeah, it's uh, having it on a bagel versus like a roll. Yeah, I think uh, I enjoy both very much. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, Tompkins Square, it's a great, you know, what's, what's crazy is that, um, you know, in addition to just the sheer number of like different bagels, there's just like so many different types of cream cheese, so many schmears that you can choose yeah. from, so many flavors Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just plain cream cheese, like with the scallion or whatever. It's like you've got, I don't know, like a blueberry cream cheese. Strawberry, or, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's really it's amazing. Green. Yeah, it really is. I think, I think we really, we really need to conquer like one of these days to go on a, like go to a bagel shop or something and uh, just get. Try them all. Try them all. Yeah. yeah. Really, really get one of each in this case. Um, So. Yeah, but uh, Tompkins Square is a, is a, I mean, there's so many. I think there was one I tried to go to, some other spot, but then I had failed to realize that they had closed for oh. some event or something that day. I don't oh, know. Oh, I see, I see. Anyway, but um, that's okay. Uh, Tompkins Square. So 
Now, one final, I guess, visit uh, would be out in Chinatown. So, do you know there's like, I think there's like nine Chinatowns or something in New York. Oh, is it really? I don't know if that was true. Uh, not not necessarily concentrated in you know New York City. I think like throughout. Yeah. But um, okay. the uh, the Chinatown in um, in Lower Manhattan, I think, is the one that mm-hmm. most people uh, go to. Yeah. 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 So, um, did you visit Chinatown out there? Um, yeah, we went oh. to where you went for. This oh, really? Last spot. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So we're yeah. talking about Mei Lai Wa, and yeah. um, Mei Lai Wa is, uh, you know, this is uh, like quick dim sum. You know, this is, yeah. um, but you know, super fresh and just really delicious all around. So just yeah. a couple of things to try. Um, did you one it inside. What's that? Did you order inside or outside? Inside, inside. Ah, uh, yes, nice cash so, price. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the move. So I don't think there was anyone. I don't know what you mean by outside because I don't know if there was like anyone necessarily outside. But there's a kiosk. Maybe yeah, that's what you're exactly. talking about. Yeah. So the kiosk was inside in this case, maybe because it was raining oh, or something. It was raining. Uh, I yeah. see. I see. So, but you could, I could still see. Like I ordered, you know, uh, inside with a person. But yes, I could see mm-hmm. people also ordering at the kiosk. Um, but as you said, mm-hmm. there's an advantageous uh, cash yeah, price discounts. Yeah. And the chance for people to yell at you. So that's fine, too. I mean, that's what you're there for, right? It's New York. You exactly. Want that. Exactly. No soup so, for you. <laughs> um, so one of the first things to try oh. was this uh, pineapple pork bun. Again, this is like so good. the quintessential. I mean, it's a nice, sweet pineapple bun. Not too sweet, but good. And with a nice, savory pork filling in there. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Uh, how many did you have in there? <laughs> we only had one each, and I oh. regret it. Yeah, if you could have more, I mean, totally, totally. I mean, if I had yeah. space for more, I I totally would have. I wonder if like this some. I wonder if this is something I could have carried with me. I probably could have like oh, gotten carry? away yeah, with uh, taken with me. Um, in addition to the pork bun, I also tried a uh, the shrimp rice roll. Of course, so yeah. um, super fresh shrimp, like really nice, like a nice kind of snap to this to the shrimp and then you know with the just kind of enveloped in the in the rice roll a little bit Mm of uh soy sauce on there um that and it was nice it was you know it was nice and warm in this cold rainy day so i thought it was uh thought that really um you know was a good comfort uh in that so yeah even in the rain still made for a good a good meal and a good experience overall so okay did you go to a boba place in chinatown no i didn't yeah. Oh, so, how about you? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Mama. you told me. Um, yeah. Yeah. What was that place called again? Ali Mama. Yeah. I know. I yeah. Did I still get emails from there. Oh, like, <laughs> there's like, one time, man. I'm sorry. It's like, please come back. So <laughs> yeah, I honestly. think it's. I think it's just a sign, you know, that uh, it's it's time to plan the next one, right? Yeah. So. Um, so that kind of wraps up and rounds out, you know, the, the few days out in New York, there is a lot to do, uh, with just, you know, only so much time. Um, if, uh, originally I had planned to go to a steakhouse, uh, one of the old school spots, unfortunately not Peter Luger. That's probably the, the most well-known, um, only because I think reservations and things would have been tough. Uh Also, incidentally, they also don't get cash, so... Um, not that that would have been a problem, but yeah, it just <laughs> added some complexity, right? Um, but anyway, but wherever I did end up, I, I, I had to cancel cause I was just, there was just too much going on already. <laughs> so. Oh, damn. You, well, you had to cancel that one. What did you do? What do you mean? I know. Oh, wait, did you not make a reservation or you made one and canceled? I, I did make one and then I canceled it. Yeah. What took precedence over that? What's, what was important? Um, my livelihood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. Like it was at that point I was walking through uh, central okay. park or something and mm-hmm. I was just, uh, still very full. Uh, okay. and I, I already, and I knew already I would not enjoy, uh, the meal. So it seems to be a common error with you. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Again, I think, uh, maybe I have to encourage more you know, adventures in, uh, with companions or something. I don't know. <laughs> But um, but next time a steakhouse will probably be in order. And then uh, by the time I was there, um, you know, uh, we'll say friend of the pod, although not really sure. But uh, George Motes has uh, opened up oh. his uh, restaurant, uh, Hamburger America. Um, oh. But uh, it was still um, 
being built out when I was there, so mm-hmm. wasn't ready. But they opened, they've opened uh, since, and um, it's just a way to enjoy the uh, again the traditional, uh, historically accurate, I suppose, uh, you know, hamburger of America. His fried onion burgers are something to be uh, uh, to be tried and something to be talked yeah. about. So um, I'm glad he's doing his thing over there. Um, in a and and the uh, the restaurant itself has got a lot of good uh, cues from like a lot of these historically, um, you know, accurate places that he's visited and tried to incorporate into whether it's in the design or you know the signage or things like that. Um, yeah, that is something I'm re- I'm I'm tempted. I would just fly out there for a, like a day just to hit up that wow. and a couple of spots. If if the price is right, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe, it, maybe it will motivate, maybe it's enough to make, force me to fly spirit or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's fine. They're getting better, right? Uh, okay. Um, but, uh, as far as other foods, uh, definitely need to, I, I would love to try more pizza and bagels. Um, I'd love to spend, I would love to spend a day in Chinatown, uh, you know, at least more time there. Mm. Um, so just a lot more uh, food to explore. I mean, you know. I feel like the vibe of, of food in New York is there's kind of more upscale vibe, more stately. I think again, like these steakhouses, right? These more high end, you know, kind of, uh, you know, environments and ambience, but you know, there, there's a lot that we offer here, but maybe not quite to the level. I mean, we, what we definitely excel are, um, the, the traditional and diverse, you know, cultural foods, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, here in LA. And so I'm glad we, uh, we bring a lot of that, but I mean, really, um, definitely have to, to plan another trip there, but really one more thing I wish I could have, I could have done, um, was get shoved or pushed just ever so slightly, um, so that I could just turn to someone and say, I'm walking here. I'm wa-. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. You can do that here. I could. And then also look just as bad. Um, <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. But uh, anyway, we've come to the end of another episode. So thank you, really, to our few and only fans for joining us. Uh, We're excited to bring you more of our adventures with good food and good people. Uh, Reach out. We're here on Instagram. I'm at Dumb and Hungry. He's at my underscore chow. Just slide right in there, won't you? You can also email us at hi at dumbandhungry.com where you can leave us your feedback and your love letters. Uh, Find the videos on YouTube. Won't you like, subscribe, and smash? You can also find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm my show. And on your next food adventure, remember to try 